Hello, you are watching Coles Coin News. Today, Serdar Gürtli with you in the studio. It was originated on the shards of the Holy Roman Empire, and nowadays securities trading is reborning with cryptocurrencies. And trading revolution is impossible to stop. What is new era of trading and finance means now's our guest. Today, Trade IO CEO Jim Priestler is in live. The first question is about difference. There are a lot of cryptocurrency trade platforms today worldwide. Do you offer to users something absolutely new or another? What do you mean revolution and new era of trading and financial? First question is how is Trade.io different than its competitors? What Trade.io is doing is different from its competitors is that it's not only just trading cryptos on its platform, it's a multi-asset trading platform, which ultimately we can open our platform up to other ICOs, of course, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the other cryptocurrencies. But in addition, we can trade Forex, equities, debt. We can even partner and trade with other tokenized assets like LAT tokens doing art and real estate. Uh, other companies are doing you know, dip different implementations of uh, digital uh, tokens. So there's a number of things we can trade on our platform in addition to just cryptos. That's a piece of it. The other thing that we're doing, which is a truly innovative piece, is what we're doing. It's called a shared peer-to-peer -peer liquidity pool. It's a market-making pool that's providing liquidity to the trading platform on the back end. Now, how this is so uniquely innovative is that imagine if you could not only trade with a broker like Schwab or Merrill Lynch, but what if you could actually get half of the Schwab's profits? So that's the really innovative piece that we're contributing about 50 million trade tokens to this pool. Uh, we're also contributing $50 million to the pool. And we're sharing that 50-50 with the customers who are trading on the platform and contributing to the pool as well. What they're contributing is cryptos, fiat, eventually it could be equities and a number of things that we can use to grow this pool exponentially. Now, why is this so important? Liquidity and market making is really one of the hidden profit engines of the investment banks and brokerage firms. In fact, if we look at one of our launch partners, which is FX Primus, about half a billion dollars have been made off the backs of its customers by its liquidity pool partners, which in their case was the large investment banks and banks. Now that's the profit stream we're pulling back in house. So we're not using just the blockchain to redistribute the technology. We're actually using it to redistribute and recapture wealth and give it back to the customers of the platform. Why did you choose and use blockchain? What are the advantages? The reason why we're using blockchain is because of the transparency and trust that the distributed blockchain provides. You know, particularly in the brokerage industry, that's an industry where in many cases, not, you know, there's issues with honesty and trust between the traders and the brokerage firms providing the trades, where there's questions about whether the trade was changed after the fact, how the trade was executed amongst other trades, and so on. The indelible, indelible record of the blockchain, what it allows, is a trusted record, a recording on the ledger of what actually happened, not only for your trade, but the other trades around it as well. So it's going to create a layer of transparency and trust that otherwise wouldn't be available. The other implementation we're using of the blockchain, as I spoke about already, is the, the distributed peer-to-peer -peer liquidity pool. Now that allows us to do a number of things, which is more, the most important aspect of it is the redistribution of the wealth. The final implementation we're using the blockchain for is on the investment banking side, where we're getting rid of a lot of the back-end fees and costs, such as transfer agents, uh, companies like DTCC, um, the, uh, the listing fees for the, uh, the, the, you know, the exchanges. Effectively, the blockchain replaces all of that. The other piece we're using to, uh, on the investment banking side is to lower the cost on the advisory fee, the investment banking fee, which is typically 5, 6, 7, 8, 9% in some cases. Uh, we can lower those costs dramatically as well. So we're looking to also recapture a lot of the profit that the banks are generating from advisory fees on the fundraising side and use the distributed nature of the blockchain to bring those company, that, that, that money back in-house and give it back to ultimately the companies and the investors of those companies. Security is one of the most important thing in any business. How do you decide this puzzle? Security is an area we would take very seriously in that our background is uh, investment banking, trading, compliance, KYC, AML, uh, in addition to obviously technology and fintech. Because of this, we're you know we're using a lot of uh, off-the-shelf tools that are tried and true, where we you know they're proven in the marketplace. In addition to some of the things we're developing ourselves, so some of those implementations that we're using is uh, the Raiden implementation of the Ethereum blockchain, which is Ethereum with side chains for scalability. Uh, another one is a, a smart contract tool called Modular 
which is a, a tool that specializes in smart contract security. Um, so, you know, this coupled with our own compliance and our partner's nine year tra uh, track record, which is FX Primus in the brokerage industry, uh, you know, security is something that's going to be built into a system because it's already built into our existing systems that we're using today. So it's something we're going to take very seriously going forward. And even using the, you know, the aliases uh, instead of a, a blind address for the Ethereum to send the funds to reduce misdirects or redirect uh, type of hacks. So, you know, at every step where we can, we're trying to uh, integrate security into the, uh, the overall fabric of our business. Let's talk more details about investment banking. In which way do you plan to assess different funds in raising funds and listing on trade IO exchange? Uh, the investment banking area is an area where we see a very high fees, um, a lot of inefficiencies and a lot of uh, redundancies that can be eliminated, both by the blockchain as well as our own uh, disruption and commoditization of that industry. On the blockchain side, what we're doing is we're replacing a lot of the back-end, um, uh, historically paper-based uh, aspects of investment banking, such as uh, the transfer agents and the, you know, the settlement agents, companies like DTCC. I mean, these are companies who are, came from a paper-based world and slowly moved in to the digital world, but effectively in the blockchain world, they're dinosaurs that really need to be extinct. Um, so the blockchain, it really gets rid of a lot of that stuff altogether. So that's one area where we're going to be saving costs. The other area where we're really going to be saving money is on the advisory side. We're going to be commoditizing the investment banking fees dramatically. And you know, our goal here is to lower the, the overall cost for a company to go public uh, by 80, 90 percent, both on an upfront and an ongoing basis. Uh, so that's going to lower barriers to uh, uh, entry on the investment banking side dramatically. So it'll allow a much larger range of companies to go public. So that's our goal on the investment banking side. Sounds good. The next question is about your technologies. What is blockchain fabric? The blockchain fabric and the blockchain implementation that we're uh, currently exploring is Raiden, uh, which is Ethereum with side chains. Uh, so it gives us a, a level of scalability for the uh, exchange platform. Um, so I think that's the first layer that we're going to be uh, incorporating on the blockchain. But we're also using a number of other tools like a modular for the smart contract creation and security. Um, so these are all things that we can use to really uh, you know, help uh, scale it. But in addition to that, we're looking at uh, you know, blockchain partners and other uh, technology partners of different geographies to help us scale the business. So we're looking for the most appropriate partner and the most appropriate uh, technology going forward. With that said, fundamentally, we're technology agnostic. We're going to be using the best tool for the job. So there's a lot of cool things that are on the horizon like zero knowledge proofs and things like that, which when they're proven that they can be scalable, we're, we'll look to actively integrate those into our uh, overall platform. Have you a place on your platform for newbie without high trader experience? So, you know, our, our platform is going to be most comfortable for experienced traders initially, but the, histor the historical trend in uh, FX brokerage is that they do a lot of training of new, uh, new customers coming on. So it's a lot of training trader education. And uh, if we look at our launch partner, which is FX Primus, they've historically done this. We look uh, at Trade.io to ramp this up substantially and be regularly doing, you know, trading uh, and trading training seminars in multiple geographies, um, you know, maybe uh, two or three events a month across the globe. So this is something uh, on the education side we take very, very seriously. So we're looking to give our traders uh, the best tools possible for them to do well in the marketplace. Your pre-sale will start on 7th of November and then will be huge way by the roadmap to Trade.io IPO. Tell our viewers the details, please. We're starting the pre-ICO on November 7th, which runs to the 25th. And then on November 28th until about December 15th, we're doing the actual ICO, which you can buy uh, very small amounts of trade tokens. The trade tokens themselves are really our, uh, our membership key to get into the shared liquidity pool, as well as uh, get preferential treatment for uh, IPOs on our platform uh, and other discounts. Uh, so really, the trade token is being used for a number of functions. It's being used as a market-making tool in our shared liquidity pool. Uh, that's the utility there. Uh, in addition, to, uh, it's, it's a store of value uh, for the people that are holding it. And to, to participate in the shared liquidity pool, right now we're setting the bar at 5,000 trade tokens. And that will allow you to, to share in the 50-50 split of the profits of that pool and receive daily payouts of those profits. You offer a huge trading resource. You need strong team for this. Tell us, please, your team story. Uh, you know, we have a team here that, in many cases, you'd see them as advisors to other ICOs, but in our case, it's actually the management team. We have a team with 20 plus, 25 years of experience in investment banking, 
trading, risk management, compliance, uh, in addition to financial technologies, uh, big data, uh, analytics, uh, research. So we have a very, very, very broad-based uh, skilled team here with a tremendous amount of experience that are actively working on this. You know, we didn't really need to add names as advisors. Every advisor in our company is actively involved with our team. Um, so I think that's really the key here and what differentiates us from the, you know, many of these other ICOs you see out in the marketplace is that effectively we're launching with a proven business, uh, customers, uh, profits, and uh, you know, a very, very skilled team right out of the gate. So we don't need to go off for a year and try to develop a product to come back to see if it works or not. We're going to launch very, very quickly, um, leveraging off our existing expertise and our existing uh, business uh, partners. We hope to meet you soon and find out how your business is. And also, we are ready to inform our viewers about Trade.io events. Good luck, Jim. It was Jim Preisler, CEO of Trade.io Project in Colesco News Studio. See you soon.